Hello, I'm back again. I took a four month break, or around four month break, from doing these camera reviews because I've been very busy lately. But I haven't stopped collecting, buying, selling film cameras. So I have a whole bunch of working film cameras that I have lined up for sale. So I'm going to start with this one. This is the Nikon Light Touch Zoom 150 ED film camera. It's a mouthful, but it speaks to its ability. Because this camera was made in direct competition for the Olympus Stylus series of cameras. Same clamshell design, not as compact, it's a little beefy, but it takes the same type of battery and the film is loaded in the same way. So I'm going to load the battery. This does not come with the listing, but I thought I'd show it off for anybody who has this camera, inherited this camera, to show you what battery it takes, and it takes the Duracell or Photo 123A type batteries. And the batteries inserted on the side, you have to flick the battery door out with your thumb, and it's inserted with the plus side facing down. And as soon as you turn the door closed, the date will show up and E for empty if there's no film loaded inside of it. To turn the camera on, all you have to do is slide out this cover and it will turn on. Let me do that again for you. At the same time, you'll notice that the flash pops up. And as the flash is popping up, it will also charge via the battery. This camera has a panoramic mode, which is flipped up with this switch. Now, it's not the actual panorama view that you would think about. It's just a little plastic blind. I'll open the camera up and show you. But it's not actually panorama. It's just the plastic cover that makes it seem like the photo is panoramic. Um, so I'll take a picture here in the auto mode. You can see that the pre-lamp for the autofocus lights up and the flash fires. Also, you want to make sure that the lens moves in and out while you take the picture. So I'll do that again. So you saw the lens move in and out. That means that the shutter is actuating correctly. Let's go to the different flash modes now, which is activated with this button down here. We have no flash, landscape, no flash, flash, always firing. Um, that's a delayed flash for a portrait. So you can see that the flash fired in the lens shutter delayed a little bit. So those are all your flash modes, and then you have your red eye reduction. So you see the autofocus pre-lamp lit up a little bit longer than normal. And then let's do the uh, self-timer. So the pre-light or the autofocus pre-light will flash until the cycle completes. Date is also important here. It's controlled by these two buttons. I'm going to try to see what I can do here in getting the earliest date as possible. I don't think it goes up to 2023. Oh well, you'll just have to figure that out for yourself. I don't want to waste any more time trying to figure that out. 
I think it might go past 2023, but I'm not sure. Now I'm going to open up the back of this camera. Let me flip it this way, because this is how you'll be using it. Just want to note, slight, two slight surface scratches on the back door. Absolutely not going to affect your picture taking ability, just the visual aesthetics of the camera. Now, when the back door is open, you can't fire the camera, but I just wanted to show you inside that it's extremely clean, and this camera was well taken care of when I acquired it. I have shot a roll or two of film through this camera, but I have recently acquired an Olympus stylus, and I prefer that much more over this camera. It also has a um, it's a spinning wheel for people. I believe they call it a diopter or something like that. They put these on cameras so that people with eyeglasses could use this camera without, you know, getting blurry shots in the viewfinder. It's made in China. The serial number is 7045727. Don't get confused. It's the Nikon Corporation in Japan, but it's Chinese made. I'm going to take the battery out now because I think that concludes our testing. And I will have more camera listings right after I upload this one. So look out for those. And thank you for watching. And share anywhere you can to anybody who's looking for cheap film camera deals. Thank you.